everyone. Welcome to Mask is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. First, we are going to discuss about divisibility rule for 2. How do we know that a number is divisible by 2? Alright, a number is divisible by 2 if it is an even number. It ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Take a look with the following examples. Here, 28, 376, and 94 are ending in 4, 6, and 8. Therefore, these numbers are divisible by 2. Another example. Okay, here, 412, 980, and 548 are ending with 2, 0, and 8. It is said that if a number ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, then it is divisible by 2. Therefore, 412, 980, and 548 are all divisible by 2. Next, we're going to study about divisibility rule for 5. How do we know that a number is divisible by 5? Very good! A number is divisible by 5 if it ends with 0 and 5. Let's study the following examples. It is said that if a number ends with 0 and 5, it is divisible by 5. Therefore, 35, 280, and 875 are divisible by 5. Another example. Seventy, three hundred twenty-five, and nine hundred are all divisible by five because it ends with zero or five. The last but not the least, we're going to study about divisibility rule for ten. How do we know that a number is divisible by ten? All right, a number is divisible by ten if it ends with zero. For examples, 40, 1,500 are ending with 0. Therefore, 40, 1,500 are all divisible by 10. Another examples. Sixty, two thousand, and eight hundred are ending with zeros. Therefore, these numbers are divisible by ten. Okay, let's have a recap. Divisibility rule for two. A number is divisible by two if it is an even number. It ends with zero. 2, 4, 6, or 8. Divisibility rule for 5. A number is divisible by 5 if it ends with 0 and 5. Divisibility rule for 10. A number is divisible by 10 if it ends with 0. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching.